I'm Laurie Vitali and today I'm sharing something with you so quick and easy but it's one of my favorite things in the world and I look forward to this the day after Thanksgiving every single year to make it because it's just my favorite and usually I only eat it um, the day after I make a roast turkey. It is my croissant panini with turkey and cranberry sauce and apples and brie but you can also use Swiss cheese. It is delicious. It is gooey, crunchy, tart, meaty, buttery. I'm closing my eyes and imagining I'm already eating it. It's so good. The ingredients you need for this is exactly what I just mentioned. You need some croissants. I have two here because I'm going to make one for me and one for my husband. I've got some sliced um, white meat turkey here. That's literally my last bit of turkey that I've got left over. I've got some brie cheese that I just started to slice nice and thin. And I've got some of my homemade cherry cranberry sauce and also a honey crisp apple and a little bit of melted butter. Now what I've done here is I've preheated my grilled panini press, but if you don't have one of these, just make this exactly the same way you would make a grilled cheese. In a skillet would be perfect, so don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do right now is actually just cut my apple because I'm probably just gonna use half an apple, but I'm gonna just cut this, give it the core, and then just make a little thin slices of it. This is going to be that crunchy, slightly crisp, fresh taste that's going to go in between the buttery croissant and the uh, cranberries. It's just so, so good. And I, I mean, everybody makes this kind of sandwich. I've seen it so many places. And it is truly one of the most delicious things you'll ever eat. It's definitely worth making, especially when you only have a little bit of cranberry sauce left over. Oops. It, um, it's just the kind of perfect thing to make for two people. Just gonna slice this nice and thin, and I've taken, I've taken my brie out of the fridge just a few minutes ago because you want to keep it in there as long as possible. Otherwise, it starts to get soft and it's really difficult to cut. And I like to cut this. We're actually gonna take it off here. And I like to cut this nice and thin. And you can eat the whole thing. The everything is edible in here, so don't worry about it. That should do it for now. And now it's just a question of building yourself a better sandwich. Take your croissant. I've cut it in half. Oh, I'm going to take some of my cranberry sauce. I'm just going to put this on one side of the croissant. Now, I've never made this with cranberry jelly. I personally am a cranberry sauce kind of person, and I know this is going to sound crazy. But I prefer to eat cranberry sauce in leftovers, like in sandwiches and on spreads, in muffins, on my oatmeal, like in yogurt. I prefer to eat it that way than straight up with a turkey. That's just my personal thing. I love having it leftover. It's just delicious in my opinion. And then I just take a few pieces of apples and layer right over the top of that. That'll do. And then you just go ahead and take your turkey and just make a nice thin layer. Now these are pretty big pieces of turkey, so this is probably going to be more than enough. Yeah, look at that. And then just top it with your brie. And I just kind of cut it to fit the croissant. You could certainly make this with homemade croissants, but you know, my grocery store actually has a pretty decent selection of croissants, so I'm not going to complain there. I'm going to build my second one, and then we'll get going on putting it on the panini press. That looks good. I'm actually going to put these back on the plate, bring it closer to me because I want to brush the outside of the croissant with a little bit of melted butter. This is going to help them get beautiful color and real nice and crispy. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to get my hands all buttery, but I think I can handle that. Ugh. I'm telling you, this is definitely a rich sandwich and it's a little bit out of the box for most people but it's really really delicious all right this is nice and hot and now you're gonna have to grill this according to the instructions on your panini press but i'm just gonna press this down and cook it until the light turns green and i'll know it's done and when it's there i'm gonna show you what it looks like oh look at that i just Oh, just love that. That is looking absolutely gorgeous. I really should have gotten a spatula or something, but I'm going to put this right on here. Look at that. Oh, 
I, you, there's no words really hot. There are no words to describe how fabulous the sandwich is. I'm just gonna let this cool for just a minute because it is so, so hot right now and there's no way I'll be able to give this a bite. So I'm just gonna let it cool for a minute and then we're gonna taste it together. It is so stinking good. <laughs> mm. Great flavors. The apple is really nice and crisp. The cheese is ooey. It's not too overpowering. The turkey is cooked all the way through, so it's reheated all the way through, I should say. So it brought back a little bit of its moisture. The slightly tart cranberry sauce and the buttery croissant is one of my favorite things in the world, and I look forward to it every single year. And this year, I have to share it with you because I figure out, I realized that. In almost four years, I haven't. So go to laurainthekitchen.com if you want to get the written recipe along with tons of different recipes. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.